Hi, this is Stephen from Mona Disso. The laptop market is in a kind of stasis right now as we wait for the new CPUs and the new GPUs. Now, all of these will be announced at CES in January. So like I said a while ago, you might as well wait to get an idea on what the pricing is like. Now, the worst case, you know, is the current generation will be reduced in price further. And that's not a bad thing because they are still very capable. Now, according to reports, Intel's mobile Raptor Lake and NVIDIA's RTX 4000 mobile will be available in February. And I expect AMD's solution, you know, will follow probably a month or two afterwards. Now here, I compare the specs of both the RTX 4000 desktop in orange to the mobile cards shown in yellow. As usual, NVIDIA has a big gap in core count between the desktop and mobile cards. Also, the memory bus is less. Now I can understand the need to lower the TDP to suit the mobile form factor, but I do wish they keep the other specs the same as the desktop cards. Now for the high-end laptops, we will see an RTX 4080 Ti and an RTX 4080. The Ti version will have 25% less cores than the desktop 4080 and will have a TDP of 175 watts, which is 45% lower. The mobile 4080 will no doubt have less cores, but will have the same amount of memory and I imagine the same memory bus and TDP. The mobile RTX 4070 will have 35% less cores than the desktop and its TDP is 50% less, so is even more gimped than the 4080 Ti. The mobile 4060 will only have 2560 cores versus 5888 on the desktop, which is 56% less, and the mobile 4050 is supposed to have the same number of cores, 6 gigabytes of VRAM and 96 bit bus, but will no doubt have a lower TDP. But we have seen with the desktop 4080 versus the 4090, the huge difference in cores doesn't necessarily translate to the same reduction in performance, especially at 1080p and 1440p. Times by GPU scores have just been leaked and I show them in yellow. I also show the desktop 4080, which is some 67% faster than the mobile 4080 Ti. So it looks like even at 1440p, the effect of the 25% less cores and 45% lower TDP will have a profound effect. Now in my recent video, I estimated that the top tier mobile RTX card will have a time spy score of about 17,000 points. So it looks I was like I was pretty close. The mobile RTX 4080 Ti is about 29% faster than the RTX 3080 Ti, and the RTX 4080 will be about 19% faster. The RTX 4070 Mobile will be about 22% faster than the 3070 Ti, which drops to 15% when the latter is overclocked. The Mobile RTX 4060 sees a nice performance boost of 27% over the RTX 3060, and is still a bit faster than the RTX 3070, but behind the 3070 Ti. So in general, the new RTX 4000 will see a 20 to 30% gain over the current generation. Plus, of course, you have the ability to use DLSS3. A good 3070 Ti laptop can be had for about $2,000 or less. So I would hope that the new 4070 models will be no higher than $2,500. And the 4080 Ti models, no more than $3,000. But I suspect prices will be somewhat higher, especially for the 4080 and 4080 Ti models. I see the 4080 models going for about $3,000 and the 4080 Ti ones for about three and a half thousand. So what, what do you guys think? Are these performance numbers good enough for you to wait for them to arrive or will you jump on the discounted current generation? Thanks for watching. Bye now.